Next up, we have Ross Knox from Yosemite Park and Benson, Arizona. I traded for this horse one time. He wouldn't win no beauty prize. Just a big, stout, long-geared blue roan. Not bad for weight or size. I had to make some tough old circles, and that trader guaranteed this horse had shown me lots of country. Not need much rest nor feed. He says, now this ain't no kid's horse, but he'll pack you up the creek. He will hump up on some occasions, and he has been known to kick. The fact is, I couldn't trade him to just anyone without feeling some remorse, but if you're sure enough cow puncher, mister, this is your kind of horse. Yeah. I stepped on that horse next morning. He began to buck and ball. That trader may not have lied, but he dang sure hadn't told it all. <laughs> we sure tore up the country where he threw that equine fit. And I was running out of handholds by the time he finally quit. And that just sort of set the pattern. Nothing ever seemed to change. Although I showed him lots of country every corner of this range, but every time I'd ride him, he'd keep me sitting tight. I knew I'd go for at least three bronc rides before he packed me home that night, which would have been all right on most of the horses that I rode, but this roan horse had my number. I could just barely get him rode. But I guess the thing that scared me most and put a damper on my pride, it appears he's learning how to buck faster than I'm learning how to ride. <laughs> I rode into camp one evening. It was getting kind of late, and I seen this gray horse in the corral and a saddle by the gate. I looked that gray horse over, and man, I sure liked what I seen. Then this kid showed up around the barn, looked to be about 16. He said he'd lamed that gray horse coming down off granite grade. He wondered if perhaps I had a horse I'd like to trade. <laughs> now, when a feller's trading horses, most anything is fair, so I traded him my blue roan for that gray horse then and there. But my conscience got to hurting when I thought of what I did. Trade a fly blow dink like that off on some little wet-nosed kid. So next morning after breakfast, I said, now, listen, lad. To tell the truth, that trade you made last night was bad. That roan horse, he's a tough one. Bad as any that you'll see. He'll kick you, strike you, stampede. He's a sorry SOB. It's all I can do to ride him, and I'll tell it to you straight. I think you'll be mighty lucky if you get him past the gate. Now, there's two or three old horses out there in the saddle bunch. They ain't got too much going for them, but I kind of got a hunch that they'll get you where you're going if you just don't crowd them none. But dang, I hate to see you try to ride that blue roan booger, son. He said, well, sir, I said last night I'd make most any kind of trade. and I appreciate you telling me what a big mistake I made. But my daddy always told me, no matter how you feel, even if you take a whip, and well, a deal is still a deal. Now, you say this horse has lots of country, and he's not too bad for speed. Well, sir, I'm kind of in a tight spot. That's exactly what I need. Now, I traded for him fair and square, and dang his blue roan hide. When I pull out of here this morning, that's the horse I'm going to ride. Well, I watched him since he saddled. He pulled his hat way down. He stepped up in the rigging like he was headed straight for town. Stuck both spurs in his shoulders. Got the blue roan hair a flying. Throwed his head back and squalled. Sounded like a mountain lion. Now I've heard all your stories of the bucking horse ballet. I've heard of poetry in motion, but the ride I saw that day complete defied description. Though I still can see it plain like it happened in slow motion and was branded on my brain. Why, that roan horse couldn't shake that kid no matter what he tried. And all that I can say is, by the saints, this lad could ride. Well, when it was finally over, I thought, you know, I could learn a few things still. And I said, son, I plumb apologize. I misjudged your riding skill. 
He says, shucks, mister, that's all right, as he started on his way. But if you think this horse can buck, don't put your saddle on that gray. 